How's it going, Teal Boys? It is week four. Uh, we finally get to come home to, to play a game, this time against BYU. Uh, the Cougars, pro a little bit worse than us overall-wise. They are 1-2 and two on the season. And who have they played? They lost to a decent Nebraska. They lost to a mediocre Boise State, and then they beat an FCS team, so they haven't beaten a team uh, in the FBS yet. Hopefully that proves to be useful for us. Maybe we get a good win here. Let's go and see our recruiting. Uh, this is going to be interesting, but we'll just uh, hope that we can pick some of these guys up. And let's just check our uh, top of the board here. The best guys that we can look at. Unfortunately, it's not there for a lot of them. Albert Sullivan losing too many points. We are gaining with Greg Jones. We are looking okay with Rashad Howard gaining on UCF there. Robert Gray, we have the lead and we're actually extending away from other people. How is nobody else fighting for this 80 overall center? That's great news. We can save 50 points there. Michael May, uh, the athlete we can get. He's a quarterback. Oh, this could be great. He's fast. 89 speed, 91 acceleration with an 84 throw power and an 84 accuracy. 80 carrying is pretty solid. He can kind of juke. Um, 55 strength. I think he could be very solid. He could catch the ball too. Maybe maybe some trick play there. We're going to give him that 550 points. Uh, Michael May, 6'2", 206 pounds. Uh, number five athlete in the country and the teams that are going for him aren't like crazy I think this might be our new quarterback but we'll keep looking down the list in the lead for now with Will Phillips a pretty solid middle linebacker we've got Lou Harris who I thought I mean very similar uh, teams recruiting him as Michael May but the tackle uh, just we don't have enough bonus points to gain on Cincinnati and Kent State, Miami, Ohio. So, unfortunately, I think Lou might have to come off the board. Then we've got Roger Carson, who was a pipe dream, but the defensive tackle, again, isn't going to be something that we can pick up. Steven Mohammed, we do have the lead. Looks like maybe Georgia Tech will fight back, but we just need to have a good visit and we can take that to the offseason. Another quarterback in Mike Harris. This is our pocket passing quarterback. 90 throw power, 84 throw accuracy. So the only reason we would take him over Michael May is the throw power, which is six higher, but he's so slow. Um, we're not going to give him points, but if we rise to the top of the board, I wouldn't mind, you know, having him sitting on our bench. But we just continue to go down here and all these good players we're looking pretty solid with. For the most part, there's a few guys here. Brian Paul, the tackle. Isn't going to be good enough. Bo Walden is going to be tough. We'll we'll try to fight to hold on to him, but um, I'll go through. We'll we'll refill the board and scout a couple guys, but just go ahead and make sure that nobody's uh, on the board that shouldn't be here. All right, we've added a few guys here. They're all offensive linemen, so we've gone that direction for this little uh, batch of scouting. We'll see. If they just go up, I'll be fine with it. We don't necessarily need world beaters, but obviously I don't want somebody like Charles Jackson. Just not good enough. Courtney Hurd uh, stays at 66. That's kind of at the upper limit. Josh Barrow was a pipe dream. I was hoping for a big gem. Instead is a bust. Uh, Brandon Blunt goes up. There's a gem. 70 overall for that. Center, Karan Smith or Karen. Who knows? He's not on the board anymore because he's a minus 7 bust. And Chris Cook is another bust. So, well, we did a good job uh, eliminating players, but now I have to go find four more. All right, this time around, we've looked at a few safeties. So Jason Dixon goes up to a 69 uh, and three strong safeties. Andrew Brown stays at 65. Dan Stone goes down to a 62. And Courtney Davidson goes down to a 63. Uh, they're all going to stay on the board for now. We do have one player ready for a visit. Mark Washington, that 76 overall middle linebacker. We're kind of in a battle. Um, I think we have a decent chance to pick him up. He is a Juco guy, so maybe a little bit easier for that pickup. And we're going to bring him to the Virginia Tech game, our, our next home game after BYU. I want it to be against a conference opponent just because it uh, works out a little bit better for us in terms of the points they get. Um, so hopefully we can win that one. And here we're going to offer scholarships to guys that we have the lead with. So uh, quarterback, cornerback, 
wide receiver, middle linebacker, wide receiver, that sort of stuff. And that will go to the bottom and we have 500 points that we can give to somebody. We have to make sure that they can take the points. Jared Robinson. Can we give Jared the points? We can. He's 500 behind. We're going to give him the 500. And finally, that's the end of our recruiting for this week. Just uh, a quick check to see if there's any ranked uh, matchups. I think that we determined that there was like one Ohio State, Minnesota will play. That's eight versus 16. South Carolina and Texas A&M. That's 12 and 15. And that is it. We are 18th in the country. Can we put together another win here today? We are at home. BYU 81 overall. They've got an 84 offense and we are locked up at 80s. Uh, on defense, we have been wearing some interesting uniforms. Um, we could go all black this time around. I don't think we've done that in a while. I know that we haven't really worn our standards or their standard homes in a while, but that's fine. BYU is an updated team in the, uh, mod. We could give them a lot of, uh, you know, options here. I think that we'll just go with the standard away. Yeah, I really like that that blue that they're using, especially more so than like the uh, the old blue. But yeah, we'll just go with the white and royal and get into this one. Through three games, BYU's offense has done a pretty solid job moving the ball. Um, defensively struggled. They can't really stop the pass. They can stop the run. Not how I like to see it. I would prefer it if they were good at stopping the pass, but off with the run, but that's fine. Uh, offensively, we're pretty garbage. Defensively, we're pretty garbage, but we're 2-1, and one, and we're ranked 18th in the country. Our three top players, our offensive weapons are all on hot streaks. Their top players are a kicker, so we can discount the 92 overall, but then a left guard and a middle linebacker at 91 and 88 overall. Uh, they've got a middle linebacker out, though. Is it the same guy? No. Uh, dislocated ankle out for nine weeks, so that could be very useful for us. You know the drill at this point. Back again at Brook Stadium here in Conway. And BYU is going to go with Tails. Wise decision from the Cougars. They win the toss, and we are going to start with the ball. So Reese back to return. Hopefully a good return here. As, yeah, I'm definitely bringing this out of the end zone. Number 18 team in the country. Does not lose these games, right? Reese with a great juke stays on his feet and got us almost to the 45. Grayson last game, 16 of 16 for 183 yards. No touchdowns, but man, what a game that was. Perfect through the air against the number four team in the country. That was fantastic. We're going to open it up how we normally don't, and we will pass on this first play of the game. As I actually don't like it, we're going to try it anyways. Dion Fountain holds on to it. Oh, a lot of patience to just eventually find him with enough separation to feel comfortable making that throw. Grayson, I believe, is only a junior, so we have a chance next year for him to be even greater. We'll bring Dion in motion as we will run this counter. And the blocking wasn't really anything. I'm lucky, I think, maybe just to lose a yard on that play. We're going to try to run it again here on this second and 11. Hoping for the best. The blocking is pretty solid, and Reese almost has enough for the first down. Well, we know this is four down territory, as our kicker isn't very good, but uh, the box is pretty empty. We're calling a halfback dive. Reese has enough for the first down, and we are almost inside the red zone. Five wide as Grayson will step back to pass, and there's the quick throw out to Tyson Mobley as he gets out of bounds at the 12, taking two guys with him. I don't want to jinx it, but that makes 18 completed passes in a row for Grayson as we're going to step back to throw again, and let's increase the number. <laughs> Give it to Johnson, and he got almost in first and goal at the goal line. So DJ Johnson came free, and we found him, and there's enough space for him to work with. Hopefully it set us up for an easy Reese White touchdown, and it has... That's going to be a pretty quick touchdown drive for us. Not a whole lot of plays as we make it 7-0. So Frederick will boot this one away for the first time in the game. And it's going to be a returnable ball for BYU. That was pretty solid coverage, but he broke the tackle. Oh my gosh, it's up to Stokes to stop this one from going to the house. This guy's so slow, he broke another tackle, though. And Miles Davis puts the Cougars in great field position. That's not what you like to see to open up the game. First and 10, though. The defense has a chance to maybe... 
you know, stem the bleeding on that as they will go to the ground. It's a little counter, and we brought a big man blitz, so they'll lose three yards on the play. I think our starters are a solid amount better than this BYU team. Let's hope that the coverage can work. I was trying the man because I was feeling confident about them, but, well, we gave up 34 yards. So our secondary getting exposed on the play. It's a first and goal. This is going to be a handoff, and, uh, Thought he was going to try to take it to the left. He goes straight up the middle, and BYU ties it up almost immediately. The day that we managed to stop them on defense on the first drive uh, is the day that I start buying lottery tickets. Reese is going to bring this out. It's going to be a big uh, special teams battle today as both teams getting great returns, and Reese White might be gone in a foot race with number 15. He's at the 30, the 20, and Reese answers immediately for his first kick return touchdown in his career, and he just happens to tie or set a new NCAA record. He goes 104 yards to take that to the house, and we retake the lead almost immediately. So the defense will have to come right back out, but first, the special teams unit needs to do their job to make sure the BYU doesn't have incredible field position again, and they did a much better job. Only giving up, uh, only giving up 24 yards. Goodness. See what we can do on this first down as they ran very well on us the first drive. Quarterback kept it on the option. And, oh my gosh, he's destroying us. Baylor Romney, 19 yards there. Well, first and 10 now. They're going to go to the air again. And we forced him to get rid of it. Diggs couldn't get the tackle, though. Oh my gosh, it took three guys to bring Cole Taylor down. Second and six. They go back to pass again, and there's an out route. Diggs was there for the pick. I got him in position, but he just dropped it. That gives us this third and six to work with. Interesting formation. They will step back to pass. Oh, open routes all over the place, and they get the first down. So far, not how we wanted the defense to come out on this drive. First down, we're bringing a blitz. They are running it. They go up the middle, though, and it's an easy first down again for them. Man, if we can just figure out some defensive problems, we'll be a real powerhouse. But until that happens, it seems like it's going to be a massive struggle. We're blitzing so frequently, and yet they're still able to just run the ball very, very easily on us. As that time, we did get to Romney, and uh, I think that must have been batted away at the line. It's five wide on this third down. I'm going to use her Sydney McRae. As we expect them to pass, but I just wanted to get the pressure on the quarterback because that's a problem we've been having. Unfortunately, well, Taylor's wide open. So first and goal here. Four receivers out to the right. And there's a man open. He's stupid for not just being in the end zone, but they get the completion. Try to bring a little bit of a blitz. No, they put a running back back in. Oh my gosh, I'm glad that I noticed that. I guess it was like a tight end slotted in at running back. We managed to get in there and disrupt it. I could see them going to this man again. As third and goal, they will step back to pass. Guys open all over the place and they get the completion. Cody Epps holds on to that. A weird throw, but it ties the game up. So if our defense could do something, we might be able to win this game easily, but... Uh, until then, we just got to hope to keep scoring. Reese scored on the last time he brought it out. He's got great blocking again, and Reese White once again streaking down the sidelines. It's going to be back-to-back -back kick returns for touchdowns for our running back. That time, 102 yards, and the defense will have to come right back out. Hopefully, they don't get gassed, but man, the offense isn't going to have much to do today. So it's 21-14. And we'll get another chance to stop these guys. You got to think eventually it happens. They get decent blocking on their return, but only managed to get it to the 25-yard line. All righty. Defense, what do you got for me? First and 10. These guys are going to step back to pass. There's a wide open out route. Uh, a trucked man and 15 more yards. So they pass very well. Here's a draw play that thankfully, well, I was going to say thankfully got stopped, but he... Fell forward for six. And it's just going to just be the exact same thing over and over. Draw plays, out routes all over the place. There's finally a sack. Coverage held up. Romney tried to scramble and we hit him in the backfield. Third and long, we have a chance to get off the field. This is, however, just a chance. We have to make sure that they don't pick it up. Uh, no screen. 
Guys open over the middle, and he got the first down. Broke three, four tackles. He broke five tackles. Oh, my goodness. So they give it to the running back, and he just dominated on the play. First and ten, expecting the run. We were there to hit him in the backfield, but again, he just always fall forward, and he gets three yards there. He's a coach's dream of a player, apparently, as this option is going to be... Thankfully snuffed out before they can pick up the first down. We do have another third that they need to convert. I'm going to get incredibly risky here. We're going to press. We're bringing the safety blitz. Except the safeties were like a mile off the ball. So we aren't going to be able to get the pressure in time. And they get the first down. End of the first quarter. We do have the lead right now. Um, But our defense is atrocious. Very, very frustrating to get beat the same way over and over again. Quarterback keeping it again and breaking tackles. He's into the end zone. Oh, never mind. He fell at the goal line. How can we not tackle the dang quarterback? We know it's coming, but we just can't do anything about it. Quarterback keeps it again and he's in. Oh my gosh. How did we beat Texas, but we can't stop BYU? Kickoff underway. Reese White returning it again. He's got two in a row. <laughs> Can't even get close to three in a row. We are uh, inside our own 15 to start this drive. So we're all tied up. The offense should be well rested, but unfortunately that means their defense will be as well. And we're going to have to do some work trying the option. Grayson, good first down. Try the play action here. First and 10. Outside the pocket, square over the middle is wide open. Bedgood holds on to it through that little bit of contact and gets us 22 yards. I'll take that all day long. Grayson now 20 passes completed in a row as we're going to follow our blockers with recents. Spin move a guy out of his shoes to get 17 yards. Oh no, somebody call the ambulance. We're going to get AI with this one as we'll go with the slip screen. First and 10, waiting for it. You know what? I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. Grayson scrambling. I'm just going to get out of bounds. I didn't want to throw it. I think that, that we got the same amount of yards, but didn't have to risk a potential interception. <laughs> if only we weren't getting chased down by like a linebacker there. Uh, Second and six, trying the read option again. Reese has to keep it, and he's going to lose two yards. That was just kind of weird. We've got a third and eight to deal with now. Looking to go to the air. Hoping that somebody's open. There it is over the middle. Malden. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Their secondary isn't very good, just like ours. So we'll just keep going to the air for now. There it is. Tyson Mobley. Quick throw. Find 16. And we've got the first and goal. I'm trying to do a lot of passing to get their uh, defense out of sorts. We'll try an option on this one, but... Uh, Hopefully working. Oh, gosh. I should have kept that. <laughs> I thought he was coming for me. We lost six. Thank goodness we didn't lose the ball. Some would say it's a little conspiracy to back us up so that we can pass the ball more easily. Uh, Let's see if it works, though. Well, there was two guys kind of open in the end zone. I didn't want to force it. So we'll just pick up eight on the ground and get the third and goal. Just it's terrified of throwing a pick right now, so... We're going to put this one on the ground. Third and goal. This is four down territory. Reese broke a tackle. Kind of was able to fall forward. Uh, got two yards, and we're going to go for this on fourth. From the one, we have the full yard that we need to get. We're going to bring out Grayson and allow him to try to dive over the line, and he got it. Oh, he took a bit of a shot going over the line there, but it works out. We retake the lead midway through this second quarter. Ah. Uh. I'm getting tired of kicking this off right now. This game is way too high scoring for me. Not used to it. Man, their special teams is very good. Miles Davis with another decent return. So the defense has been far from good on this game so far. They're going to come out looking to pass. Quarterback's actually going to scramble. Nobody's there to get him, and he slides down after picking up four. This has been pretty rough. Trying to bring the blitz. I was expecting the QB scramble, though, so we slowed off and kind of went into a spy, and it worked. Now we're going to try to bring pressure. Put the defensive tackle in the spy. Third and six, expecting them to pass. Quarterback, plenty of time. Pass a man deep with the one-handed catch. 
Fall pulled it in, and uh, they got an easy first down. I don't really think it was necessary for the receiver to use one hand there, but he does it anyways. And on this first down, I got beat on the little wheel route by Miles Davis, and they get another first down. We, I can't stop them right now. Oh, my goodness. Like, I try to blitz, and they throw over the top, and I try to, you know, play in the zone, and they just run it on me. And there's just nothing going for us. I think the way that we're going to win this game is through clock management somehow. Uh, I just got to be on my game as they called their first timeout here as we hit two minutes. And in the end zone, or just at the edge of the end zone, is Keanu Hill for a first and goal. They've instructed the team to get aggressive in the uh, the zone depth. Hopefully they we don't get beat on those the curls anymore. Still can't stop the running game, though, as they tie it up a minute and 55 left in this first half. All right, Reese, give us something to work with here. A minute and 55. The offense has moved the ball very well so far this game, but we need that to continue. Uh, it didn't look like we were going to have any blocking. I kind of panicked, didn't know where to go, and we've got a long ways to go to score and uh, take the lead before half. All righty, we'll see what they do. First down. Square should be open. Dion held on to that. Oh, I thought he was going to cut more, but that works. First and 10. They're bringing maybe a little bit of pressure with the safety outside the pocket. I got to really run. Squares open. Can we get it to him? Dion Fountain catches it and gets out of bounds. 33 yards downfield. Oh, that was scary. I'm a little bit worried. Maybe we score too quick at this rate. We're going to go back to pass. And R1's open. Tyson Mobley has it. And another first down and another completed pass as well. Grayson's completed 25, make that 26 in a row. Wow. Well, we need to make sure that they don't have this game tied up at halftime, so I don't mind running the ball and burning a little bit of clock. Uh, second and two at the 11-yard line. We will run it, and Reese has that first and goal for us. A high-scoring affair so far in this game. We'll give it to Reese on this first and goal on the counter. He's got a lot of room to work with, and he gets into the end zone. But did we leave too much time on the clock? 49 seconds for BYU to work with now. BYU has 79 yards to go here to end the half. Oh, Jordan Morris just dropped a pick that could have really swung things in our favor. The way I see it is that I think that our secondary players are more talented than their wide receivers. So we're going to be kind of pressing up a little bit more uh, in the coverage. And maybe it forces them to throw deep balls like that where we can get a chance to get our hands on them. Third and five. They are just going to let this one burn out. I'm tempted to take the timeout. But I'm completely fine going into the locker rooms with the lead. Uh, Goodness. Defense needs to get a stop coming out to start the third quarter. Otherwise, it's going to be a really stressful end of the game. 35-28. to 28, Grayson McCall is still perfect uh, throwing. Somehow, I've managed to figure out how to pass in this game. And, uh, well, it's very useful. But we need to finish this game out. At some point, I might just start trying onside kicks. Who knows? Frederick. Put this one kind of deep. Ooh, goodness. Almost, uh, you know, inside the four. It's going to be another return, and Davis does a good job. Miles Davis is having a good game so far. I don't think that we can really afford to run uh, man coverage, so we're going to be sticking in the zone. I thought for sure I jumped that route and had the pick. Thankfully, we only gave up three. I knew exactly where the pass was going. I just couldn't quite get there in time. This first down, it's a screen. That looked like a mid-screen or something. They're going to lose five yards. That was not well executed. Third and long now. Can we have the pressure? Five wide on this play. They're going over the middle. Oh, gosh. It switched to who I didn't think it was going to, and I dove the wrong direction. So we might have had a chance. But after that, certainly it didn't help. First and 10. Man, anytime we get a little bit of momentum on defense, they just convert on third down. Doesn't matter how far it is. Uh, I don't know what the defense is doing there. Coverage broke down. Keanu Hill gets 18 yards. At this point, I'm not really sure what to think. They're passing all over the place on us. As There's a sack. Baylor was about to have two guys open there. Unfortunately for him, 
He didn't have a, quite enough time in the pocket, so second and 15. They are going to hand this one out off out towards the edge. And because we have two tackles, we only give up a yard. Third and long, do we give this off or do we finally get a stop? Just need the defensive line to do their job. I think the secondary can only do so much. Man. Oh my gosh, she's wide open. <laughs> Every time, dude. We're going to try to bring a little bit of a blitz on this first down. Hoping for the best, they're going to throw one out of bounds, looking towards the end zone, but couldn't find it. I really like plays like that because it gives us a chance to sub after the incompletion, and, you know, maybe they uh, lose some momentum. There's a th another third down. We find Terrence fall that time. What can we do here? Wouldn't be surprised if they ran it, honestly, but they do go to the air. Two guys wide open over the middle. And it's a first and goal inside the three. We're getting annihilated here. Try to uh, fill this up. They're going to go with the option. The pitch is out. And we did kind of get the stop. Again, he falls forward, though, and got positive yards. And they've been running a lot of options as well. I'm just calling this around up the middle, hoping that we can get the pressure. Quarterback keeps it, though. Baylor Romney goes in for, I think that's his second rushing touchdown of the game. The defense just cannot get off the field today. All right. Well, it's going to be onside kicks from us for the rest of this game because we have to be able to stop them somehow. And that feels like it might be the only way. Trying to get a decent return here. Reese White already has two taken to the house today. I'm just going to let him step out of bounds. Save a little bit of stamina because he just got 47 yards on that return. We're going to come out and line up in the bubble screen. I don't expect to throw this. Uh, and we won't. Audible, look for the quick slant over the middle on first and 10. And this might be an incompletion. And it's, wow, not only our first incompletion in 25 or 26 attempts, but uh, turnover, first play of the drive. I think that might be enough to lose the game here. Man, all that good passing and all those good reads thrown away with one play. You hate to see it. First and 10. These guys are going to go with their own screen. Diggs. Man, Diggs cannot tackle to save his life. Has that one broken. And like always, they pick up a first down on first down. Uh, we almost never get them in a spot where they're not picking up a first down super easily. This is going to be a throw. Big chance. Diggs dropped a pick. His second dropped interception of the game, and he can't tackle. Oh, come on, Aaron. We need our players to be better than that. Desperately. This one... A good run up the middle that we finally stopped, and it's third and ten. But third and ten, we haven't come close to stopping all game long. What can we do on this one? We know they're going to go to the air. Can we get a stop? Waiting pressure on the quarterback, but he's got a man wide open. He stepped out of bounds, couldn't keep the feet in, and maybe a stop from the defense. They will be able to kick this field goal. Actually, ooh, I wanted to send a guy back to return. I think it's too late for that. But, uh, gosh, the only stop that we've had on defense was not even something that we did on our own, and they kicked the field goal. That was a long one. Good kicker. I guess he is 92 overall, the best player on their team. Uh, but we lose the lead, and we desperately need to score here. Very, very disappointing that we threw that pick. It hurts. And then the fact that we couldn't just fully get the stop and prevent them from scoring points certainly doesn't help. This isn't going to be a good return again. So either we go to midfield or score a touchdown or we're inside the 20 on our returns today. So Grayson McCall, first and 10. We're going to throw up a bomb here. We're throwing up a bomb. They're bringing pressure. Somebody's got to be open. Somebody's got to be open. Maybe or maybe not. And we can just get knocked out of bounds after a gain of nothing. Oh, come on, team. How are they going to bring that much pressure and nobody's just wide open? Maybe I should have had somebody run like a crossing route, but it is what it is. Second and 10. We're going to try to run. That's not going to go anywhere. That's our second turnover in two drives. This game's over. We beat number four Texas. And we're going to lose to BYU. You hate to see it. Oh, that's so frustrating. Kind of expecting a run. They're going to keep the option. Quarterback kept it once. He... The... They, said... they said that was an incomplete pass. Wow. They said it was an incomplete pass. He went to pitch it right here. And the pitch was moving forward, they say. And then it hits the turf. 
So no fumble, no tackle for loss. They get lucky and get back to the line of scrimmage. Oh, wow. Meanwhile, we now have two turnovers. Uh, we're going to start dropping an extra man back into the pass coverage and hoping for the best. Quarterback scrambling there. Sidney McCray can't do anything. Steal with a big hit. Just another third down. We need to hold them to a field goal. Gotta hope for the best on this. Third and four. They will step back to pass. I was trying to watch the quarterback. It didn't matter. He had a man open at the back of the end zone, even with eight guys in coverage. And we're down 10 points now. Well, this is suboptimal. Ye are we really going to lose our ranking the week after we finally gain it back? Reese, of course, I'm bringing it out of the end zone. Has a decent little uh, start to this return, and he gets out of bounds almost the 45. All righty. Time to do some work. Play action to start this drive. And over the middle of the field, I threw another freaking pick. Gosh darn it. Oh, I didn't think he was going to run with us. It's three turnovers in three freaking plays. Well, we lost. There's, I mean, you're not going to recover from that. Especially when they've got such a good kicker. Like, they're already in field goal range. It doesn't help that we're facing a, a scrambling quarterback as well. And look at, there he goes. And he's got an easy first down. We have to strip the ball. Like, literally, if we don't get a turnover, we've lost this. We've got everything set to slow down or prevent scrambles from these quarterbacks. They still manage to pick him up. There's a wide open out route. Thankfully, they only get three and go out of bounds. It's time to start uh, using Mackie in a QB spy, though. This is a screen over the middle. And they only get a yard. Could hold them to a field goal. Need this to go well. Third and six. They step back to pass. Guy wide open, and he's got the first down. What the heck is our coverage doing? These aren't fast receivers. You would think they would notice this slow guy running towards the, uh, like the sideline and go and put some coverage on him. The problem is that we can't run in the man to, to do anything against that because... Somehow they'll just destroy us on us on an out route. This one, he cuts it back inside. It's a first and goal, and man, we're almost into the fourth quarter, down three scores. I'm expecting like a, a quarterback keeper on this. Option, never mind, it goes in 52 to, what is that, 35? Ah, uh, it's GG's. We're going to try our hardest to come back, but it's going to be almost impossible. Defense can't get a stop. Uh, offense has turned the ball over three times in three plays. I'm not sure what to do now. Unfortunately, this is that spot where now I have to start trying to force throws to get things done. Um, and that usually does not go well for us. So first and 10 nearing the end of the quarter. There's a bit of a scramble for us. Grayson made a guy miss, got a block. Can he do it again? No, thank goodness he held onto the ball. End of the third quarter here. Uh, we're down by uh, half a million. Maybe we have a small chance. We got to hope so. We have to be scoring uh, quick and often. So trying the verts on this first down. Could it be Malden catches it? Not in stride, but he holds on to it inside the 10 for a first and goal. And we got to be in the hurry up for the rest of this game. Hoping, praying at this point for the best. Kind of looking for Malden. We'll see what we can do. First and goal. They're bringing some pressure. Guys were open, but the scramble is open as well. Grayson takes it in with his legs. Maybe the comeback has started. We're down 10, and it's time for our first onside kick. Hopefully our first of many. Frederick. Ooh, that was a really good uh, hit, but unfortunately Fall holds on to it, and they recover the ball. Gotta do something here. First down. They will step back to pass. Out route was wide open. Over the middle is open. That was a weird route from Taylor, but uh, look at that. Breaking all sorts of tackles. And they get 34 yards. How many big plays have they had? <laughs> we just, we can't do a single thing. First and 10. This is going to be a handoff. Uh, we missed the tackle. It's first and goal almost. Uh, like they're averaging 10 yards a play. There's nothing we can do. And now they're going to run probably an option. And... If we actually do a decent job crashing, like, the quarterback's going to pull one of these out and just waltz in. Only positive for us right now. 
is the fact that uh, they're, they're running in the hurry up for some reason, but they score the touchdown because our defense has not stopped them once this entire game. Oh my gosh, we need a freaking miracle. Uh, another minute gone off the clock means another minute that we can't use on this comeback or attempted comeback. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so pissed right now. Let's open this drive up with another vert. It's going to be our play of choice right now. Nope, we, nobody open. We take a 10-yard sack. God dang it. We literally, we there's nothing that we can do in this game right now. Like, actually nothing. No, uh, no exaggeration there. Oh my gosh, Ben could just miss the ball. I'm about to cut every single player off of this team. I don't understand how you can beat Texas one week and then be so absolutely garbage the week following. They pick it off. Oh my god. Literally nothing about this game was fun. When your defense can't even think about getting a stop, like, why why even continue to play? Christ. We do this at, at home. Our two home games, we've gotten obliterated. Just embarrassing. It's as simple as that. Embarrassing. Slip screen. Well, we're, well <laughs> if we could tackle, we would hold them to a field goal. How the hell did he get five yards out of that play? Fourth and five. This kicker is next to automatic, so almost zero chance of getting a stop there. And their lead increases. 20 points. Three and a half minutes to go. It's impossible. It's kind of ridiculous. We finally get somewhat of a stop holding them to a field goal. Uh, but it's after we throw our fourth pick of the game. I guess it's nice that we've saved our timeout. How fantastic is that? Pressure coming. Nobody open enough to throw to. And the one guy that could have blocked for me ran away from me when I needed him most. The other thing is that now they know that we're being forced to pass, so they can just dial back any attempts to, uh, stop the run, and Bedgood can miss the ball again. Wide open twice. Third and seven, we're heaving up another pass. I mean, at this point, I've got nothing to lose, so might as well hope for the best. And see if maybe somebody can come open. Nope, our, our offensive line is uh, non-existent. We throw our fourth pick. Vilger has, what, 20 f interceptions? Uh, there's literally nothing that we can do. So, GG's to BYU. Five turnovers. We've dropped about four picks, um, so that's cool. But they're burning the clock. We're not going to even try to stop them. I don't even know what to say at this point. 295 total yards. Five turnovers. Four interceptions and a fumble. Defense can't do anything for the entire game. We've given up 60... What is that? 65 points to BYU? We beat f***ing Texas. I just don't get it. White's going to be back to return. There's no point to take it out because we've been worthless in the second half trying to return it. And I'm just going to come out and throw another pick. Like, if I'm not throwing four verts, we don't have a chance to, to do anything here. So, might as well hope for the best. Hope that somebody comes open and, uh, well, that's a massively underthrown ball. All of a sudden, Grayson can't throw it more than 40 yards, apparently. I just, like, it's just ridiculous. Can't hold on to that one either. How did we? How is the first half so different from the second half? It's actually insane. At this point, I just want to score so it makes it look a little bit closer. Not as embarrassing of a loss. They're bringing pressure. We have the one-on-one. -on -one. Throwing it up for bad good. He's got a step on his man, and again, he would have had it if he was just a little bit quicker. We're getting close with these passes. It's just not close enough. Some Dion on the go route. Dion Fountain just burned his man. There's a touchdown. Too little, too late, unfortunately. Too little, too late. Oh, a minute and five left. And that's going to be all she wrote. Hope for the best on this one. Bring bad good in motion. And we'll try to scramble with McCall. Going for two on this. Guys are not open. Maybe there's Mobley. Finally, a little bit of patience. Only down 15 with a minute and five. Two onside recovered kicks and we could win it. But that has 
A zero chance, yeah, when they have the greatest hand team in the world. Minute and three, two timeouts. That's going to be game. Well, they scored a touchdown. <laughs> there is a flag on the play, but it's not going to matter. We've given up 72 points to BYU. So, so disappointing. <laughs> All right, well, the kicking uh, returns are still pretty decent. Reese, 20 seconds. Well, we can maybe score again out of spite. What are the odds of these guys stopping another four verts? Dion Fountain came down with it. <laughs> it was a real shame that we couldn't do this uh, a quarter ago. There's a touchdown to Dion. <laughs> it's not enough time on the clock, and the defense has been so... Atrocious. Try to get the two. Again, we're just trying to make it look close so that we don't lose our ranking. That's all I really care about. Oh, I screwed that one up, though. <laughs> Should have thrown it. Didn't think a guy was open enough. Another onside kick. And, man, you would think that they would mess up one of these, but these guys have some great hands, so finally it's over. Victory formation for BYU. It's finally over. Uh, both of our home games this season uh, have been so infuriating. Finally, the clock hits that triple zero. Is we going to get out of here? I, I just don't get it. How is it that this team can't do anything to stop BYU's offense? They're not that freaking good. Their offense was worse than ours. They're like a 79 overall offense or some crap like that. And we couldn't even come close to stopping them for the entire game. Like, you would think we would get lucky once in the middle of the game, but no. Just demolished. We had two kick returns for a touchdown. We didn't we didn't miss a pass for the entire first half, and we lost that bad. I don't even want to talk about this game. I'm just going to be quiet for five seconds so you guys can read what happened. I mean, I don't know what we're supposed to say. Team couldn't do anything. Peyton Wilger had three interceptions. Uh, they're, they're running back 23 carries for 104 yards, five touchdowns, 50 yards receiving. Nothing that we could do. Let's advance the week. We go on the road at Georgia Tech, so we'll probably win that game because we can't win at home right now. But it seems like we might have a chance to win on the road. Let's hope for the best. It is Georgia Tech. Five guys are ready to visit, so that's nice. But they're going to have to visit at a home game, and we don't tend to win those. Georgia Tech is ranked. We aren't. We win this, we have a chance, but it's going to be a difficult game, of course. Oh, man. That's going to do it for this episode, though. Um, if somehow <laughs> you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like. If you're not subscribed, uh, please feel free to do that as well. We are improving. We were at about an 85% uh, unsubscribe rate for viewers. We're down to 79. So thank you guys for that. Um... And then if you want to head down to the description, you can find links for my Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster, where we stream a lot of non-NCA related gaming content. There's also links to my Twitter and our community Discord, as well as a link to the College Football Revamp mod if you're looking to get that for yourself. But regardless, thank you guys so much for sticking through that. My name is Goonmaster. <laughs> you guys are the Teal Boys, wherever you are. Have a good night or have a good morning, and we'll see you later. Adios.